So today we're going to be going to a couple niche, fun, cute little bookstores that are all on the same street here in San Antonio, in an area called Broadway or just outside of Alamo Heights. It's going to be really fun. These are really unique bookstores and they're all privately owned. They're small independent bookstores. So I'm really excited to show you these independent bookstores. I'm hoping to get a few books and let's have some fun today. bookstore and it's so cute they actually stamped the inside look at that they stamped it how cool is that so I got two books while I was in the nowhere bookstore which this bookstore is owned by Jenny Lawson that uh, wrote broken and furiously happy she owns the bookstore it's hers and there's actually like a shelf saying Jenny's you know recommendations so I thought that was so cute. There was a lot of books in that bookstore that are not as easily found. And I loved that. It was so awesome to be able to find the second book in this series by Jeff Vandermeer. I read Annihilation by him and all of the books in the Annihilation series. Uh, and it was so weird and I wanted to read more from him. And he has the series where each cover has these mushrooms on the front and I love mushrooms one and two it just looks like a trippy a trippy book so it says before there was area x there was ambergris so area x is um a part of the annihilation series so I'm guessing that these books are in the same world that would be so cool I don't know but yeah I have the first book in this series and it's a green cover with the mushroom and then this one's blue with like the lavender or mauve, that's more of a mauve on it. So that's so cute, I'm so excited. Oh, there's people just standing behind the car. So yeah, I got that book and then I got one other book. I've been wanting to try out Murakami and I knew that he had a book that had a frog on the cover and they had it. I think this is so beautiful. It's like an oil spill, kind of like the iridescent. And then it has the frog in the corner. It's After the Quake by Haraki Murakami and it's very short yeah and it's based off of an actual earthquake that happened this sounds so weird it's about a guy that thinks he's God's son and that he can help people during an earthquake so I have a feeling this is gonna be so weird so I got trippy books <laughs> at that bookstore we have two more bookstores for sure to go to I'm so excited you can't find these books at Barnes & Noble, so we're having a good time. Okay, so before we move on, I actually just wanted to jump back on here because I just realized they gave me a free bookmark and a free sticker with the, the logo. And it says, Nowhere Bookshop, and then Bookish Friends Come Visit Nowhere. And I think it's so cute. It's so well done. There's a lot of people out. Like I'm trying to like record and I feel so like, cause I keep walking around my car. But anyways, let's go ahead and head over to the second bookstore.
just finished up at the second bookstore called Cheevers or Cheever Books and it's super cute. The thing I love about this bookstore is that the owner, she runs the cash register and she talks to you and she does the sweetest things. When you buy a book from her, she puts in information about the book. It had a news clipping about when the book was published and she actually just stuck it in the book. And I mean, if you see in the footage, there's so many books in there, but she didn't just do it at that book. Like I got this edition of Gone with the Wind and in the first page, she wrote a note of where she actually purchased the book. And I was like, the time and effort, writing that in there so that me as a buyer, you know, this is an independent bookstore where they're, these books have been owned, you know, prior to them being on these shelves, but it shows kind of like the journey of the book, how it got to where I'm now buying it today. And I love it. <laughs> so go to your independent bookstores, find bookstores that are privately owned, get to know your book community in your area because you will not regret it. She's so sweet. When I when I went over there, she was so excited because she was organizing all of the books for San Antonio, which is where I live and where this bookstore is located. She's like looking at the local history of the city. So it's just amazing. They closed at 3 and it's 321 right now. So I just missed them, but I got four books in total. So I had a fun time. And I just don't think I would have gotten these books anywhere else. I feel like it was a very personal experience. There were notes. They, they had put in little details into the books. There was more rare books um, at Nowhere Bookstore and I absolutely loved it. This is the type of shopping experience that if you just buy books online, like that's fine. Like reading books in general is really, really fun, but you don't know what you're missing if you don't get to experience your local, locally owned bookstores. And I highly, highly recommend. But that's all I have for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm sorry my AC is blasting, but with 110 degree weather, I'm gonna blast my AC, but uh, Bex book signing off and like, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it when you do that. Bye guys.